Did that last guy look familiar? There's nothing more frustrating than getting out for a round of golf, but it's ruined because you lack flexibility. But you stretch every day and it's just not getting better. Today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to improve your flexibility, increase your mobility, and a little bit of strength for your neck, shoulders, and back without stretching once. Let's get after it. All right, let's dive into the first one. The first one we're gonna do is try to help improve that tightness in the lower back that we get when we're actually sitting. But also, this, when you think about this, this is actually more, think about this as trunk spinal flexion, that we're gonna improve our flexion, which in turn is gonna help release the muscles in our lower back. What we're gonna do first is we're going to put our hands across our chest. Now, when we do these, I want you to think of two things. First, we're gonna find a comfortable flex position. You're gonna feel a light stretch in your lower back. Do not try to go so far that we're gonna to try to stretch this to improve our trunk flexion. We're gonna find a light flexion because if we're gonna to try to force the flexion, that's exactly what stretching is. We're trying to build more contraction to improve our muscles and let our other muscles on the other side lengthen better. First thing I'm gonna do, drop down. We're gonna take our hands, put our hands in our thighs, and what I'm gonna do is think we're trying to crunch down. As you can see, I'm trying to crunch through my upper abs to improve that awareness and contraction. Here's the caveat. If you go here and you can't feel this contraction, sit up a little higher and start there. Start pushing down, trying to feel for that contraction up here. Hold it for six to 10 seconds. Then after that, drop back down See if that improved your flexion. Again, push your hands down into your thighs, holding the contraction for six to 10 seconds, lightly, and come back up. We're gonna end up doing this cycle three to six times, all based on how much awareness you have and how easy it is for you to contract. This is my favorite isometric to do to build more flexibility in my torso rotation. First thing I'm gonna do is put my hands on my shoulders and I'm gonna think about turning left, turning right, and feel which side does feel a little bit tighter. If they both feel tight, pick a side, work through this process, and then switch to the other side. Hands on my shoulders, turn. I feel a little tighter going to the right. So if I'm going to the right, I'm going to put my knee on the inside of the door frame, hands on my shoulders, turn, into the door frame with my elbow or forearm into the door frame. Now from here, I'm gonna push my knee into the door frame to create a stable pelvis and then turn through my obliques, feeling the contraction all up in my obliques, core area, hold the contraction for six to 10 seconds. Come out of it, repeat the process three to six times. Turn, as you can tell right out of the gates, I'm improving my rotation. Repeat, hold the contraction, six to 10 seconds, come out of it. Remember, if you go into your initial position and you can't feel the contraction, back out of it a little bit. Don't try to turn so much, back out of it just a little bit and try to turn so you're more of a lengthened position versus a shortened position. After you cycle it, three to six times for six to 10 seconds. Check the other direction. You're gonna get a little bit more range or you might feel like you lose a little bit, which is definitely possible. Switch, put the other leg on the door frame, hands on your shoulders, turn into the door frame, push this knee into the door frame, turn through your obliques, hold the contraction for six to 10 seconds three to six sets. This one is for neck tightness. Normal thing that we do is we'll turn our head and try to push our head to try and improve this tension here to decrease this or we'll go the other way, try to push, try to improve the other side. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna turn our head, feel for a direction that feels like it's a little tight. I feel a little bit more tighter this way. Put my hand on my head and I'm gonna think about trying to turn. I think about trying to turn feeling my, all my muscles on my neck trying to turn my neck and head. So I'm gonna turn my head, put my hand right on the side of my head, and turn. 
feeling for my neck muscles to turn me, holding very lightly. My efforts may be three to four effort, maybe two to three if you don't feel a lot. Come back out of it, do it again. As you can see, my neck range has just increased. Hold it for six to 10 seconds, feel my neck contract, all the muscles around my neck, and come back. I did one direction, now I'm, going to, now I'm going to actually go back and check my other one. As you can see, my left is worse than my right now. So now I'm going to put my hand on my, neck, on my head, turning my neck muscles, trying to feel contraction in my neck. Six seconds, come back, turn again. As you can see, my neck muscles are starting to increase my range, letting this side go, hold it six to 10 seconds and come back and again do repeat this cycle three to six times and when you're done feel how much better your neck moves so this is for shoulder tightness a big concern that we talk a lot about my golfers is we talk about trying to keep that arm across your chest normal stretches or take their hand across try to stretch out their lats and the back of their shoulder what we're going to do is we're going to take our arm bring it across our chest and instead of putting our arm across to stretch we're putting it in front and all we're going to think about is trying to push our arm and our chest and our shoulder across midline so I'm going to go from here this is where I feel like I can stop feel comfortable feel that light stretch in the back of my arm my lat area I'm going to push across feel the contraction in my chest and my shoulders hold it for six to ten seconds come out of it Bring my arm again, range is improving. Push through my shoulder, chest, to feel that contraction, to let the back lats and the back side of the shoulder let go. Six to 10 seconds, three to six, three to six sets. Then repeat the other side. And that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching today's Golf Mat Canics YouTube channel, Golf Longevity. If you guys haven't subscribed, hit that little red button below. Then every week you'll be notified there's a new video that's dropped and you'll get one step closer in being flexible. See you next time.